Right, welcome back everyone to the 75. Um, got to put that uh, fuel pump in and we're going to do the fuel filter. Okay, so prop you, prop you up so you can see. There we go. And uh, I couldn't find the right tooling for this thing here. You need a special tool to get this back on the hose for the uh, top of the pump. Uh, the hose, sorry. Hang on, it's getting shot. This one on here. So I don't have the correct tool for that. But I know it's not crust. I know it's not nice. I know it doesn't look pretty. But sorry about the wind again. Pinky comes to the rescue. It's a bit rusty, I know. But we're gonna get this on here. It should go on. Can't see why not. I did fit it just now. Hang on, get on there. There you go. Ta da! So Pinky saves the rover. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to get the sock here. We need to get that onto the pump. I've already tightened up the, the hose clamp down the bottom. So slide that in there like so. Let's get zoom in a bit more. Can you see that there? Maybe. Let's zoom in a bit. I know there's things in the way, but yeah, it's in there. Okay, prop you back up. Okay, so the next, let's get this filter out of the way a minute. And the loo roll. Yeah, I'll put everything in the uh, in the box here. Right, so we've got this big clamp that's got to go round. So what we need, also need to do, we've got the, uh, the real, little ratchet spanner in here as well. Need to flip that round so it then does the opposite. So that's clicked it round. So let's put that on. Yeah. Turn that round. I'm going to do that up off camera. It's a bit awkward. Well, that job's not the easiest. Right in there. Oh, I've got the zoom in. Yeah, no mind. Um, yeah, down in there. Hang on, zoom in a bit. Yeah, that's better. A bit of light. There's a bolt um, going through, and I had to use a pair of long nose pliers to reach the thread of it and try and get it through the bracket. Um, here. And this casing is in the way. Unfortunately, there's some hex bolts in the bottom of it, and I don't have the right size to get it, the actual tray out. But, oh, the joys of working on cars. But yeah, now I've got that in there, I can now get the adjustable ratchet ring spanner in between the plastic and the metal, she metal sheath. What am I talking about? Metal sheath bracket. Um, so I've got the sock on, I've got the metal bracket in the right place. All we need to do is do it up. Put the hose on here, put the metal con the uh, electrical connector there. Sorry about the jackiness of the camera, I'm useless today. Right, I'll uh, get on with that, then prop the camera back up. Okay, so that's now bolted in. We haven't got the hose on there just yet, because obviously we need to change the filter. So, yeah, let's do that now. Right, so you're now propped on top of the engine. Um, as you're aware, obviously this one came off, clicks into that one there, and then obviously into the top of the pump. So we need to disconnect this one on this side. It's just a little tiny clip. There you go, pull that out of there. And this one, I'm not sure about this one. It's got a clip on the top, a clip on the bottom. Not sure. Uh, is there a clip on the back of any kind? There's a there's a, a nut on the back of here. 
You can see that from the way I shot you. Maybe, yeah. That is possibly the same size as the other one. 8mm. Yeah, it is. Do 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 do. Right, so that is loose. Anything on the bottom of that? No, nope, it's just a can. I need to get this connector out. There we go, pop. Just give it a good pull. Okay, let's lift this out. There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty grimy around here. Look, it's pretty filthy. And it's got wear marks on it. That's a mal or male. One or the other. So you've got one, two, three, four, fourteen, fourteen newton meters. I'm guessing that is. But I'm guessing you just turn it hand tight like you would with an oil filter. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, anyway, I'll move this. I'll put it on the side of the on the curb. Move the camera, and we'll get this undone. Put the new one on, and you can see in a bit more light. Right, there we go. This is the new one. This is a Crossland. Don't know if it's any different from the standard one. Same height, pretty much. It does say in the book you've got to wet the top with um, fuel before you connect it. So, what's the chance of me having clean hands for this? Uh, pretty minimal glove so I can undo the cap or the filter top let's have a look at that in the process cool is this going to come undone? cool, that does not want to come undone okay, I think I might put this in my bench vise, hang on Okay, so I put it in the vise because it's not going to be needed. I really need to bolt this vise to something. Right, let's try and turn this top. Oh, blimey! Hmm. I don't want to put the other end in a vice. Might need a tool of some description to get this to move. Oh no, hang on, hang on. No. Cool. Yeah, it's going. It's going. See perseverance. Perseverance. Okay, so. Yep, there's definitely fuel in there. That's pretty clean actually, I'm not going to complain about that. It's nice and clean in there, sorry about the wind, again. Right, so what we... Right, the top of that one is very different. So if I grab the camera, sorry it's stuck on the tripod. So there we go, two differences in filters. You're going to get that with different brands. You're still in shot. Yeah, right, okay, so bit of fuel there. It's diesel, so it doesn't evaporate as fast as petrol. Bit more in the centre bit as well. Right, so Just tighten that up. Obviously not too tight. It's pretty filthy, the casing. That's not an issue. It's not a problem. Now that'll do. So that's about hand tight, same as I'd do a, a fuel, an oil filter. Right, okay. Let's get this back in the car. Right then, you propped up onto the engine again. 
Okay, so as we as we left off, we just literally plugged in the new filter. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's the Crossland. So we're gonna bring the filter points forwards. So what we're gonna do is plug in this one first because that was the last one that came out. So click that in. Click this one in. Make sure you got the clips either way because they squeeze from the sides. Click. Right, okay, so I think at this point I'm going to reconnect the hose up here and I'm going to turn it, turn this so it's easier to get to because obviously the uh, the pump is not in the same position as it was before which is frustrating is it going to go over on its own without me having to squeeze the clip yes it will so that's good and it's that's firm as well okay there was nothing in this one here okay this one back here, there was nothing connected to that at all. So, before I put this one in, I'm going to do up this bolt back here. I don't want to do it too tight. Okay, I think that's alright. It's, it's firm, it's not going anywhere. It's not overly tight and I don't want it to be overly tight. Okay, so plug in this one into here. And got a clamp, a hose clamp down there to hold it all in place. Okay, now what we now need to do, obviously, is get everything out of the engine bay that we don't need. So we'll do that. All right, battery goes in time. This thing's heavy. Oh, there we go. Okay, down the bottom there, I've got to get the clamp in. This one. And then the securing bolt. Like that. And then do that up. Yeah, this is too far down the back. This, this here is too far down the side of the battery, so I can't actually get there. It's quite a squeeze. That's it. I'll do that up in a minute. Just gotta line it up, get it in place. Never had to have a a strap for a battery before. Weird. Very weird. Oopsie, got my hat off. I don't know if I can hold that in there like that.
Yeah, it seems to work. Haha! -ha. See, there's always ways around things. Ratchet. Push it across there so it's definitely supporting the battery. I think I might need my other extender. Yep, only the short one. Just give it an extra reach. Right, so what I'm going to do, connect the battery up and just see what happens. Well, they're right, okay, the battery is reconnected. It's 13 mil, that one first, then that one. Use the ratchet, to, uh, ratchet span because I don't have a socket with me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just put everything back on top of the engine. And with the magic of YouTube, engine bay is back in order. Right, next job. Loosen the camera a bit, turn it. Right, what I'm going to do is tighten the camera up a bit there so it doesn't move. Right, so what I'm going to do now, get in the car. Well, I'm just going to turn the ignition on. I'm not going to start the car. So the system is so supposed to be self-priming that it's whizzing, making some whirry noises. Can you hear that? I'm going to look under the car, make sure there's no fuel coming. Can't see anything dripping from underneath the car, and it is making noise, which is expected. I don't know how long this will take. Right. Okay. So that's that's okay. Okay. So that's stopped whizzing. I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Sounds better than the last one. There's nothing coming from the top of the uh, the filter. I'm just going to dis disconnect you from the uh, tripod. see anything coming from here at all. Okay, so let's take the uh, tripod off the car. And bits of tissue and stuff like that. Right, so let's stop. Well, Move these as well. I really don't want the uh, any tools on the engine bay. We know what happened with that. Uh, oh, me tripping over a tripod. Um, yeah, we know what happened with um, Kismet. We won't go into that. Okay, so let's get in the car. Pull the door to just in case anyone drives past. Okay, so car is in car, oh, there's my phone. Car is in park, ignition is on, push the foot pedal down. 
Ready? One. Two. Can you hear it rumbling? Nothing is coming through. I'm hoping this filter is okay. Well, I'll come back when I've actually got the car started. She's running. change that at some point. Get the blanking off for that. Let's give it a rev, shall we? Anyway, job done. Lovely. Cannot complain. I'm happy with that. <laughs>